Hey everyone, in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how you can dynamically load different images into your Lottie animations, as you can see in this example. Let's get started. Okay, so starting off in After Effects, I've got this animation. As you can see, it's uh, got some confetti coming up, and then we've got this frog face. Um, basically, this is just a placeholder image that I'm using for the moment, but you could make this animation work with, as I'm doing, for example, um, congratulating a user or just creating templates where you need to switch out the image uh, for every user. And so here, this frog image um, is just, as I said, a placeholder. So do the same in your example. And then I've just masked it. So it's got um, just a circular look and then the confetti layer. So um, set up the animation any way you want. And in body moving, if you open up the plugin, find your composition and head into settings. And just make sure it should be by default uh, set like this, but make sure that including JSON isn't checked and you're going to not want to do this um, in production but I'm going to pretty print the JSON so we can modify it easily uh, however this will make your file size larger so don't use this in production uh, for the next step but I'm just going to in this example so pretty simple you can then render out your animation. And so after you've rendered your animation, we're going to modify the JSON file. So here you can see we've got assets. And what I'm gonna do is leave this U and P value, uh, well, property, but remove their values. Uh, so just leave an empty string inside of there. So we're going to remove that, save that, and I'm just going to upload this to lottiefiles.com for easy access. So uploading it to lottiefiles, you're going to see that the image is not found anymore, and that's completely fine uh, because we're going to be dynamically loading it up in code. So grab the asset link for that, and the next step is to load the animation. So what we're going to do is in our lottie.loadAnimation call, we're going to set something called the assets path. And this is where you're going to have to have, for example, an API or something that returns uh, the image you want. So here, I'm just using this link uh, because it just generates random faces. And so every time the animation is loaded, it's going to use uh, one of these faces. And then just for the path, set um, the URL that you just copied from Lottifars. Um, and this set timeout is just so that it automatically refreshes for the example. But your main two important parts, I guess, is the assets path, uh, which is the call to fetch a different image, and just the path to your animation as usual. And as easy as that, you should be getting dynamic images into your Lottie animations. I hope this video helped you out, and if it did, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the SV Genius YouTube channel to keep up to date with everything happening in the wonderful world of Lottie Animations.